Hi, it's John Gann again with the next in the Did You Know series about SonarWiz. Many of you know how easy it is to generate a set of contour lines over a bathymetric grid. Here I'll generate, uh, just show you how, set the contour interval, the file type that I want, and then what action to take when the process is finished, and press OK. Here we've got a 25 centimeter set of contour lines filled with the bathymetry color over, over top of my bathymetry layer. Simple, right? But did you know that you can add that same isopack map plus over 70 different other types of maps such as AutoCAD drawings, shape files, S57s into the real-time SonarWiz 3D viewer? Imagine you're steaming down the line collecting data. In this case we've we're connected to an EdgeTech 6205 system, and we've got the bathymetry uh, loaded for that area. This gives us some great context and some confidence in uh, knowing that we're not going to run the sonar into some obstruction. Like any map layer in the viewer, it has properties, so you can turn on and off different entity types, such as areas or lines. You can also set the transparency to make the scene either more or less visible. Um, compared to other things in the scene. In this case, you might also want to increase the point size on the real-time point cloud to make it more visible over the background isopack map. So that's just a quick look in, then at the uh, new map section we have in our real-time 3D viewer. And uh, again, that was, that'll was roll out this Friday in the, in the new version. And uh, I look forward to telling you about new stuff that we have for the following week. Again, this has been John Gann from Chesapeake Technology. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like some more information about any of our products, please visit ChesapeakeTech.com.